Aries, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, honey. Welcome back. I welcome you back. Um, this is going to be your quick read, all right? Now, if you are here, Aries, for your first time and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please feel free to subscribe, okay? And also turn on your post notifications so that way you won't miss any of these uploads. Now, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back, honey. I welcome you with all hope and arms. Um, I'm going to get into a quick pray. Um, tap into your energy, my darlings, and pull some messages in for you. So let's get into that. Pray and pull your messages in. And again, this is going to be a quick one, okay? Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and I ask that you bless my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and giving me the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and I do give, give you all the praises in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So... My darlings, just know that this is a general reading, okay? It's not a personal reading, it's a general reading. A general reading may or may not resonate with you. You have to take what does resonate, leave the rest. For some of you, nothing will resonate, that's okay, right? You could always come back another day because I do upload pretty often here. Um, and I do have a playlist. So you could go ahead and check in the playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Um, just be sure to place your situation where you need to place it, past, present, or future. Whatever comes through, comes through. Cross watchers, the same thing applies, all right? Um, and if you do need to have a personal reading, an in-depth reading, where it's just you and I, you can always connect with me using information that you will find in the description part of this video for personal one. Please be sure that you have a day and time that you would like to have your reading because it, the appointment does go by very fast and I cannot play the back and forth all day to schedule an appointment. So please y'all have a date and time um, at hand. Something in mind um, when you like to have your reading done, okay? And I do not hold appointments, y'all, because I'm getting a lot of messages where you want me to hold appointments. I cannot do that. It's a first come, first serve. You pay, you get your reading, okay? And that's it. All right, so let's see what's coming true for you guys today. All right. What's the message? What's the message? What's the energy? What's the message? What's the message? What is the message for Aries at this time. Wow. <laughs> love. Okay. Your love is ascending here. Okay. Your love. You're either waiting for a love or you have received it. Okay. You have received some kind of a love here. Let's see what's going on with this love. Let's let's pull another card and see what comes true because there's a love interest here. What's this love? What is this love coming in towards Aries, please? What is this love coming in towards Aries, please? What's this love, please? What's this love? What is this love? Okay. All right. All right, so your love card showed up, okay? Oh, all right. It's here. It's here. But I'm going to see what's happening here, okay? Because it was a little bit stubborn. I was getting that this situation, this love that's coming through, was very stubborn. This person is rather stubborn, okay? It's really taking a lot of your courage is what is going on here because this, is, this person is a hella stubborn. Hella stubborn. They don't listen to anybody. Not even themselves. Even when they have clarity, they still seem to be searching for something here. They're still searching for something. Even when it's crystal clear and they're able to see, they're still searching. All right. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and tap into this energy, this love's energy, okay? And see what's 
um, what's trying to come through here. All right, let's see. All right, angels, let's get to work, please. What's this? Tell me more. Please tell me more. What's the message? Right, so we have the king I'm sorry we have the knight of wands in the reverse the ten of swords in the reverse and the king of wands in the reverse right so this is what's coming through to clarify um, this love and why this person seems to still be searching for something um, but what I am getting all right um, I'm feeling because this Knight of Wands is in the reverse. Okay, I do feel like this person is. It's like they're not confident. They're not confident of as far as what they have in front of them, which is you. They're not. They're not confident. It's, it's like they lost their confidence within oneself. Okay, and. Because they have lost their confidence, it really creates a chain of reaction, okay? This chain of reaction on feeling this ten of swords in the reverse. However, it's like whatever it is that they might have been searching for, it could create a problem that is a good problem and it could create a problem that is a bad problem. But whatever had triggered them searching for something, okay, is a constant search. I feel like whatever had happened here, you're healing from that. This ten of swords. You're walking away from how you're feeling and kind of just sitting there watching them searching for something that is just leading them to nowhere. Okay? And you're trying to find peace within yourself here, this ten of swords being here in the reverse now what is here for sure is this king of wands right um your person seems to be very logical they seem to be very um mature and they do want to take leadership um position okay they really do they see themselves as being a leader at all times and this leadership sometimes is good and it's also bad in the sense of, you know, they might want to grow with you at one moment. And because you're still searching, it does bring doubt at times and having them going into another direction when you're sitting right there um, and saying, what are you doing? What were you, that doesn't make any sense. What are you doing? You see what it's doing to me? It's, it's making me feel confused. It's making me feel hurt. It's like, what are you doing? You're, you're, you, you, it's like you're trying to find things that doesn't need to be found here. It's causing chaos and problems. It's like you're not trying to see or to understand how you're really truly feeling about that or how it's really taking a toll on you. Um, For some of you, it's just bring a lot of chaos, okay? It's bring a lot of chaos. This is... The five of swords in the back of the deck is bringing a lot of chaos um, and conflicts because these conflicts are conflicts that could have been swept away in the river somewhere, like all the way swept away. And I feel like because your person keeps searching, they keep searching and bringing in things that doesn't need necessarily means to be a part of y'all's energy. And it really creates doubts. A doubt um, and, and satisfaction, unsatisfaction, okay? Um, the three of cups, the six of cups, and the reverse. A chain of reaction here that needs to be letting go, the six of swords, okay? 
um, walking away, moving away from that, moving away from the Ten of Swords, moving away from this uh, Six of Swords, feeling, feeling a sense of peace again. Uh, because you're going to be all the way done if something doesn't change. I see you walking away from that. Even if you, you, you know, you're walking away with your heart all the way in your back. But you're planning on doing that if something doesn't change here. Because even though there's love here and even though, um, you know, your person really does love you. But it seems to get very distracted by something that doesn't even exist right and they put a damper into what could be um you both being celebrated or, or even them even seeing what you're doing for yourself which is being a better you but because they're out searching for something that doesn't need to be searched for they tend to forget about you and your purpose and the things that you are bringing in towards the relationship they tend to forget that and not seeing things for what it really truly is here. Tell me more. All right. So this is the Queen of Pentacles. In the reverse, we have the the Tower in the reverse, and we do also have the Seven of Cups in the back of the deck here. Man, oh man. All right. So you you know you're about to ascend and walk away from this for sure. If this, this continues, I don't see you carrying this load for very long if something doesn't change even though there's love here this person is who you really want to be with let's just get that out of the way this is person who you see yourself with but then you're asking yourself am i really manifesting what i need to manifest with this person because this person is overly distracted too many times situations falling apart no matter how i try the tower here in the reverse and i'm kind of like losing my balance here this person can be very hard to deal with at times. And because you being the Queen of Pentacles, you're just not sinking the ship at all. You're not. You don't want to do that. This is a risk. That's a massive risk here. Okay? This tower being here, that's an overstatement. I feel like this person, because you're constantly searching... It's like, I don't know why I'm feeling like they might have even left at one point. They might even ghosted you. Uh, that's what I'm feeling with this tower because it's in the reverse. And all kinds of shit comes through when that's in the reverse, okay? Um, and then, on top of that, we did get the Seven of Cups here. You know, they, they just kind of busy weighing what way to turn. Um, should I go here? Should I go for this rose? Should I deal with this damn snake over here? Should I follow my heart? Should I keep fighting or going for my damn money? Should I walk in this damn storm here? Should I build an empire here? I don't know where the hell to do. Seven of Cups, it's all trying to, to, to choose something. Weighing their damn options here. Um, where are they, where are they gonna go? And... Who the hell knows? Because this shit seems to be falling apart here. Why are this? I don't know. Why are they constantly trying to find a solution to something that don't need a damn solution? Just follow your heart because your heart, who you need to be with, is right there. It just don't make no damn sense. Is what it don't make. I'm still trying to figure this out. Look at that, the devil. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. The devil and the three of pentacles. What a pull. Okay. What a pull. They're not learning here. The big picture right there. They painting the painted picture. A naked ass painting picture, but they ain't nothing being learned here. You're not even learning from what they're doing. Because they're not bringing nothing but searching for something that don't even exist. And then walking into situations that don't need to be walked into. For some of you, this person may be even dealing with some kind of addiction, something, or some kind of a temptation here. This could even be attached to a third-party situation because this is the devil here, okay? Um, Where they might have even left left you with a whole lot of problem and issue here 
some of you may be already in separation is what I'm hearing. This is what I'm seeing here. But how could something start when something is building already with a situation of a search? This search is causing problems and issues. But they want to come and try though. Even though there's a lot of things going on with your person, they still see you as wanting to still be here, but still kind of be over here. Weighing their options here with the Seven of Cups. But not making a decision to chill the hell out as far as this Three of Pentacles is concerned. As far as I'm seeing with the screen of pentacles as well, being very hard to deal with, very hard headed and very stubborn. Okay. I feel like for some of you, this person might have left many times and returned many times. Because this is where they're weighing their options here with the seven of cups. Back and forth. It's a back and forth type of a thing. That I see happening here. In and out. I feel like you're going to have to make a decision. Is what I'm hearing Aries. I'm feeling you're going to have to make a decision. Sooner or later. Because I'm getting this cycle. Cannot continue like this. Even though you have a connection here. This is love. Okay. Your person does love you. Right. They do, they do love you. Right. So if you doubted. If, if they loved you or not. They do. But I'm still hearing that the love that they have is, it's like it's not enough to keep them steady. They need to be steady in order to form the exact kind of a relationship that you're searching for. This person has to have eyes for you and only for you. And I do feel like for some of you, even if this person get connected with anything else or anyone else, it's not something that they're in it for the long haul. It's just because they get easily bored. Your person gets bored easily. And then because they get bored easily, they get to get, tend to get themselves into trouble. Um, but I'm hearing that you might have to pray. Pray for this situation, okay? Uh, this is a person that you really, really want to be with. Um, know your worth, okay? Know your purpose and know if this is suiting your lifestyle. Because weighing options is not a good thing. Uh, because there's too many situations out there that is toxic and you don't want to have to have be dealing with toxic situations coming towards you. So just know what you're getting into as far as moving forward, okay? All right, that is going to be your read. This is your read. I, and again, I'm going to attach this one to another one. So make sure that you um, watch that one as well. That's another Aries read for you guys. Thumbs up the video for me, darlings, on the way out. Again, if you do need to have a prayer request, put your initials down below. I will be doing a, a prayer chain tomorrow for everyone that does leave their initials here. Pray for me as I'll be praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek for sin. You always find later. Hi Aries, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome, and if you are returning, welcome back, welcome back. Now for the ones that are new, um, we do pray here on the channel, um, if you're new, okay, we do. The prayer is a must. I'm going to tap into your energy, y'all, and let's pull in some overall messages here. Alright, let's get into a quick pray. And then we'll move forward, okay? Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, ask that you bless myself and my secrets. Heavenly Father, please send the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel. Giving me the right words and giving me the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray, amen. All right, so... All right, y'all, so this reading is a general reading, another personal one. It may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does leave the rest, okay? You could pull your person's energy in or whatever it is that's connected to you that wants to come through, it will come through. Um, the roles could be reversed. Take what's yours, leave the rest, leave it for another Aries. 
Um, also, cross watchers, please do the same as well. If you do need to have a personal reading with me, you can always connect with me using the information that you will find in the description part of this video. I'm not using a microphone, y'all. Just a friendly reminder about that. Because I'm still not home yet. I didn't make it home. I'm at my daughter's house, okay? And my microphone is definitely at home. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Happy, 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 happy Friday. It is Friday. So, happy Friday to each and every one. I love you guys so, so, so much. Please do not hesitate to thumbs up the videos for me, okay? Because it does help the channel to grow. And it does help the videos to grow. Alright, let's see what's coming through. Alright, so there's a main female that's coming through here. I feel like this main female is expecting something. This main female is expecting some kind of a love or something to come towards them. Okay. And again, the role could, the roles could be reversed. This could be a main male. But this person wants to be the, the one. This person wants to be the ally. This person wants to have some kind of a reassurance here that what I'm giving, I will be receiving here, is what I'm hearing. All right, let's see what's happening with this main female here. What is this main female? What is this main female's energy at this time, angels? What is this main female's energy at this time for Aries? Alright, so this main female is coming in as there may be a secret that they might have found out. Or maybe somebody's keeping a secret. This could be you. This could be whatever is connected to you. But there's a secret of some sort that is coming through. What is the secret? What is this secret? Tell me more about this main female and the secret. All right. So the secret is giving me that it needs transformation. It needs change. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's, what's happening here. What's going on? What's going on? What is this transformation? All right. So we have the Ten of Cups. All right. So somebody's putting an end to whatever... This secret is all about my. I got an itchy nose, y'all. Mm. I got an itchy nose. All right, so somebody is definitely keeping a secret for sure because um, this Ten of Pentacles, someone put an end to the dream because of a secret, because of what was told. Somebody might have even moved on from this main female or this main female wanted transformation. And decided to move on the temperance. Mm -hmm. I feel like take their patience might have uh, might have been tested, worn out. That's what I'm hearing. Like somebody might have found a purpose or recognized their purpose here. But patience was needed. Patience was needed. That's what I'm. I keep getting patience was needed. Why is this? The Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody made a choice here. I guess somebody just didn't want to be bothered here. This this is the Two of Cups here. Um, there was love here with this main female and whatever that's coming through with the energy in the Two of Cups. But someone made a choice here. The Eight of Cups. Someone made a choice and walk away even though they wanted to, in, to invest into something. There was a decision that was needed here to be made and someone made a choice. Someone made a choice and walk away or this is what is needed to happen. But what I'm hearing is a disappointment here. Disappointment is what caused this secret. There's a secret here that made someone, force someone to make a, a choice and walk walking away. Or that's needed, past, present, or whatever that's coming towards you. But this is a massive seat, uh, secret here. That was kept kind of in the dark for some of you and... In silence. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's about to transform into something here or needing to. The Eight of Swords. Okay. So with this Eight of Swords, there's definitely an energy that wants to kind of come in. Um, but this person is moving in very fast here. I do feel like someone is regretful. This person is regretful. Whatever, whoever caused this secret to happen and this disappointment, 
they want to come in they're charging in. they want to come back in for some kind of a second chance here but the problem is there's a two of pentacles here okay so this person is still kind of trying to figure their way trying to figure some things because they're very um uncertain there's a lot of uncertainty here where they're kind of figure out figuring out here or there there or here um and it's they stay juggling the energy and it ends, ends up juggling this this main okay this main female's energy right this is the two of pentacles right there somebody's been juggled here what is this what is this two of pentacles and why what is this two of pentacles what is this two of pentacles and why what is this two of pentacles all right so this two of pentacles is the queen of wands in the reverse okay so yeah there's a lot of coldness coming in there's way too much coldness coming in somebody's really cold at this point okay someone was really cold and it made it even colder because someone was very indecisive here trying to make a choice of whatever okay but having a hard time really being committed being committed only because it's three of swords is in the reverse, okay? So there was more more than likely somebody that came in the picture, a third party situation here. That kind of just popped out of nowhere. Alright, somebody's definitely ready to move on from this. Either someone is ready to give for to forgive and move on and try again with this third party equation situation ship. Um, or someone is just ready to start something new. The Ace of Wands. I feel like you need to follow your intuition or your instinct here for this new beginning. Um, just know your potential moving forward because a new start is needed here. Someone is either thinking about um, having a child or maybe already did this main female. But still feel a little bit tied up and congested here. The Eight of Swords in the reverse. I feel like you need to take responsibility or this could be them. All right, but somebody is needing to take responsibility for whatever is coming towards them here because someone is either feeling trapped here or restricted. It's some kind of a betrayal of a secret. But even though one has gone through this, there's definitely a reunion that's coming in. Okay, somebody's popping up back in your life. I already know this person is coming in really fast. When they decide to come in, they'll be charging really, really fast here. All right, for whatever it is, this apology or whatever, a chance of something. Six of Cups in, is here. The past wants to come back. This past person has the intentions to come back in. They want to come back in and um, rekindle what was was done. Right? Maybe this is the state, their peace here. But they want to come back in. Tell me more on this main female's energy. Tell me more. Tell me more. Okay. So this main female is coming in at, with the lover's card, okay? This lover's card really resonates with this main female being in a situation where even though there is definitely love here, even though there's a feeling of emotion that is caught up or trapped here, but there's still, the, let's just say toxicity, okay? That's what I'm feeling. Um, it's like on and off. It's like there's love here. There's emotions here. There's connections here. But going into it and staying into it, it feels more toxic as the days go by because someone is holding on to lies. Um, having the other person either feeling beat up and burnt out or this could be them. Trying to juggle many things at the same time and at the end of the day not getting nothing done. Still, they're still being uh, stuck, feeling stuck. Um, like there's a roadblock here, even though there's transformation or someone needs to transform here. Because these secrets are not getting any better because at the end of the day, your happy ending is in the reverse, okay? Someone is choosing to do this. Someone is deliberately choosing to involve third party equations, um, and mending in the energy. And this is where this new beginning is really wanting to come through, shine through. 
but because this new beginning is also feeling stuck <laughs> it's like okay so where the hell do we go from here do i tap into spiritual courage or what what is what do i need to do <clears throat> but angels is let me know that not only do you might have to tap into spiritual courage but you have to tap into spiritual wisdom is what they're saying spiritual wisdom honey all right spiritual wisdom is needed here let me see something there's a card that flip that i need to flip back around yeah spiritual wisdom mm -hmm. let's see all right what is this lovers card in this main female's energy all right, so what you need is victory, all right? You need victory. You need to feel like, you know, you have succeeded. You have um, your space of peace, all right, with this victory that I'm getting here. But this victory is giving me that you might need to create another space for yourself because that space is already contaminated um, by regrets, <laughs> okay? Um, and you have to be determined because determination is needed. Now, just know that the reason why determination is needed because you have already dealt with an issue where someone might have been all masked up here in disguise, okay? Um, and this disguise is bringing in trust. How could you trust someone who's wearing a damn mask more than half the time? Um, it's time that you rest. It's time that you rest. It's time that you take time out for yourself on this situation and find a seek a sacred a space of peace. This is going to bring you in a new form, a new self, a new energy, a new place of easy transitioning. Okay. So that you will be guided by your spiritual world, your spiritual being. Um, the spiritual being is giving me a sense of freedom so that way no one takes you for granted or try to juggle you. Okay, whatever you whether you had to deal with it in the past, whether you had to deal with it right now, whether you had to deal with it is whatever is coming, you'll be prepared for whatever. Okay, um, I'm getting a family structure, then now this family structure is coming through. And this family structure is coming through a deal. So somebody in the family is coming through here in your read. This person is coming into like they might have made a deal with the devil. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Let's see. Let's tap into family issues. Uh, for some of you, not only deal with your with your situation, with your love life, but you're dealing with a family member here. Let's tap into this family. Okay. Somebody made a deal here with Satan. What is this deal? What is this, what is this deal? Clarify this deal here. Why? What? When? How? Who? Shit. Let me know here. What is the message here at this time here? Who made this damn deal? All right. So it's somebody that everybody looks up to. That's who made the damn deal. Tell me more. This person might have even served in the army or had, had something to do with high authority. If it wasn't a army, it was something that this person seems to be a person who gave the authority, gave orders to others. It doesn't have to necessarily be an army, but it has. It feels more like a person who um, might have been a manager, a supervisor, or something. Okay, this is who. Tell me more of this person. Tell me more. Why? 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 All right. Mm. All right, so this person sent a message off to someone. Listen, honey, honey. Let's take a deep breath and get this energy out, okay? Because when it comes down to people who are doing black magic, I do not play. Y'all know I do not play with that type of a shit, okay? Yeah, it doesn't live here, okay? <laughs> but this person, okay? It's a family member, that's for sure. Let's get the elephant out the damn room, okay? Let's get the elephant out the room because the elephant is here. All right, let's 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 straighten some things out here. Now, this person who did this spell work, okay? They contacted someone. This person told them what to do. It could have been by an email. It could have been by 
a phone call, it could, but somebody mailed them something. Somebody sent them something in the mail, right? This witch sent them something in the mail, and this is how they perform that spell against you, okay? Now, it has something to do with, it could be money with this family member and you. It could be something that they feel like you may take away from them and they feel threatened. Or this could be you that feels threatened because they may take away what you what's yours. But somebody has to go to court. Okay. Okay. There's a court situation involved here, and they feel like they might lose everything, so they're dealing with the witches. Okay. Somebody's dealing with the witches. Yeah. Man, oh man, oh man. I say start praying. Clarify this. Take a pathway, honey. It's time that you clean that pathway, okay? I say you do not eat or drink anything from anybody besides your damn self. If you're not going to the fast food place to eat or a restaurant, don't eat from any family member at this point. I'm sorry, but I'm just feeling and saying what I feel, okay? That's on period. Thank me later. All right, let's 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 move on because where I'm at, I don't want to tap into this form here because I have nothing here to cleanse my area. So we're going to release that. If it comes back in, it comes back in, but I'm not going to dwell on this because there's a lot of black magic shit going on here. And I don't like it. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's see what's coming through, all right? Well, let's see what Angel wants me to share with you. So Angel wants me to talk about this emperor here. And they want me to talk about this uh, Six of Swords and, and also the Two of Wands in the reverse, okay? This is what they want me to talk about. So let me talk about this. All right, so this Emperor, um, that's coming through, okay? Um, I do feel as if, you know, you're going to be walking away from a situation here and only God knows, okay, <laughs> because you have a lot of situation going on that you need to have a new pathway, a sense of freedom here, but you're walking away from a lot of things here, okay, because someone is not um, ready, oh my goodness, I have such a hard but itchy nose, it's not even funny, oh. all right, so someone is about to walk away, someone is walking the hell away from a situation, okay, because of being very stubborn here, the two of wands in the reverse, all right, the six of swords. Somebody's just going to just exit the premises because somebody's tired of being sick and tired. Because somebody's not smart. I do feel like this emperor, because it's in the reverse, this person's rather stubborn. Um, not only are they coming to as very stubborn here, but they're coming to as very controlling or a very abusive mentally. This person maybe say some things and don't care and think about what they say after they say it or do something and then think about what they did after they said it and then try to fix the situation as if you did something wrong and trying to clarify or justify what they have done. But you're tired of it. You're walking away from all of that. You're not doing that anymore. Okay. You don't want to do that anymore. Um, because it seems like it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It's like you're talking to a wind, the wind, all right? The king of wands, the nine of cups, and the eight of pentacles. Let's talk about that. All right, so this king of wands, um, is definitely a mature type of a person here. Okay, um... If you haven't come in contact, let me tell you something, y'all. I have the worst itchy nose. It's like an allergy type of allergy. Yeah. Is what I'm having here. Um, it's more of a mature type of uh, energy here that I'm getting with this um situation. I do feel like you might have came across someone that is ready to help it help you and help ready to eager to help you with to assist you with what you're dealing with. Uh, they're coming in the form of a king of wands here, okay? But still, you don't want to let this person give them too much of the authority to take care or to solve your issues that you have in. You have to tap into spiritual wisdom, okay, and guidance um, to solve certain things. Not everything is needed to be said with certain people, okay? No matter who it is. Especially because right now you're on a, um, you're on a verge. You're on a purge. 
okay is 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 to say the least you're on a purge and this person this purge is giving me the eight of pentacles it's also giving me the nine of cups in the reverse and the emperor okay um because of people who are very controlling and people who are not trustworthy you want to be gentle with what you share here um for sure okay it's what you need to be because a lot of people are about to lose you, all right? And some of the people, some of these people who are about to lose you are people who you never expected to lose contact with or yet not being bothered by many people because a lot of people are hiding behind masks and hiding behind shadows. It's like they say one thing to your face, you're going to do something else. And this is where the Eight of Pentacles come in. You're about to manifest your life without a lot of people. You're about to start some new things here, ventures. Especially where your money may be um, contaminated with others. You're about to clean the swipe, the slate clean, right? And start something here for yourself. You're about to put hard work in. You're putting the hard work in to invest into you now. Um, and again, if you do need to seek help, you seek help. Or seek help from people who are definitely on your level of helpship, all right? Um, because you're trying to find a new way not only to build your your empire but you're trying to find a new way to build um stability and balance with people who are on the definitely same level of balance and building as you are okay um i do feel like somebody's about to receive some kind of a promotion here is what i'm hearing um sooner or later um but one maybe at this per per particular time because you're going through or you're dealing with so much right now being a main female or main male there's obstacles here but you do not need to have yourself in isolation is what i need to tell you um don't just walk away from that isolation because you don't want to be set back um are having a hard time letting go seek help from the, the professionals okay the professionals because somebody's already playing tic-tac-toe in your energy right let's see what's this you know what you, you know what let's see all right what is this that i'm seeing and feeling and hearing and all that stuff okay so what is this storm so somebody's expecting something or you need to be expecting something with this storm warning. What is this storm warning? An apology. Okay, so there's an apology that's coming in. There's an apology that's coming in. Why do I feel like you damn well need that? Did you need that apology? Somebody need to apologize. I'm getting somebody need to get on their knees and apologize. Big time for being a loser. Okay. And this apology is going to be very unexpected. It's a very unexpected apology that's coming through. Somebody's going to be walking the wall, the walk of shame towards you really soon here. Tell me more on this apology. What's this apology? Okay, so this is a page of pentacles. All right, so... Yeah, somebody's definitely coming in because they see you're about to manifest, okay? They see that you're about to manifest. They see that you're about to change some things here. They see that you are motivated to success. And so they want to talk. <laughs> they want to talk. Somebody wants to talk to you, all right? Somebody wants to really get a part of your little motivation that's happening here, okay? So they're ready to, to come in and apologize here. The Three of Wands in the reverse. Say what? They think that you might have already met somebody. Okay, but some of you might have already did. They want to come back towards you with some kind of a missed opportunity here. Oh my goodness. You got to be kidding me. What's this? Yeah, because. They know that there wasn't no help towards you. This is Six of Pentacles in the reverse. There wasn't no help towards you. You was given the entire time here. That's what I'm seeing. You was given. So no, they want to come in with this great apology. The words of wisdom, whatever. Um, <laughs> to get into your good graces here. 
what is it that I was thinking? Oh my goodness, what a trip down the old block. This is crazy, oh. The ten of the ten of ones in the reverse. You about to block that shit. You ain't you ain't going there, okay? Because you already know once you let these people back in your life, it's gonna fall apart. You your intuition already kicked in, okay? Because you are the main, you're the main uh, a female, okay? All right, so you ain't gonna take no more risks. The four ones in the reverse. Mm mm. They feeling shame and guilt here. Feeling shame and guilt. All right, because they know that they lost you, but they're getting they paid back. They're getting their damn karma. The fool in the reverse. Hello. All right. No way. Mm mm. They're missing opportunity with you. Now you about to move on, and they stuck. They stuck because they did not learn anything at all because they messed up a good thing. What could have been? That's not your fault. That ain't got nothing to do with you. You didn't do all of that. They did. All right? They sure did. The Knight of Wands. All right? Just go for whatever you know that is right. Go for it because you can because you the shit and they know that. All right? Just do what you got to do. All right, because they're going to want to try again with you regardless, okay? Because they're going to see that you already moved on, but they still stuck because judgment is in the reverse. Justice is here. Judgment is here. They're still stuck. There's no movement here with this judgment. <laughs> All right, the King of Swords. Okay, that's on period. I'm getting communication here with this um, King of Swords here. But I'm also getting the Knight. I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands here too. Man, oh man, look at all that, okay? They really want to talk. I mean, they they might have not been communicating for some time, but you better believe they're ready. Because they see somebody is ready to kick rocks. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> okay. So now you got to just have courage here and no fear. And just continue to hope and pray that things will go how you want it to go. Because I'm hearing it's all up to you at this point. It is all up to you at this point. Okay. Um, change is coming. But it's going to depend on you to figure out how sooner than later you want to have this change come in towards you. It is coming. But you do have a little bump in the road that you have to clarify here. Okay. Let's see this bump in the road and what this is. What is this bump in the road here? What is this bump in the road? What is this bump in the road for Aries? Let's see. Let's see what's going on here, Aries. All right. So we get deception. That is the bump in the damn road, okay? We get deception here. Deception and temptation. Limitations and fears. Okay, so it's obvious that whatever is coming towards you with deception, you're going to put a limit to that, okay? That's how you're going to be protecting your energy. You're going to protect your energy, honey, because somebody's underwater coming up with a mask on the side, okay? That's on period. So you're not about to take this risk. How many times we have been taking risks? I know I've done that, all right? And then I've let my fear get the best of me. But you ain't going to be doing that because, see, your intuition is kicking into extreme eye gear and you're not about to take any more risk here. The risk is not a choice. It's a decision. Clarify this, angels. What is this? What is this temptation here? Somebody's going to be tempted to take somebody to go back into something that is negative here. The four pentacles in the reverse. Okay, but this person has really done nothing. The song card here. It's time that you reach out and start manifesting and, and allow manifestation to come towards you here because it's coming. Even though this person might have made you happy, you need to make yourself happy so that you could be happy with everything that comes around you. And the energy will flow with others. Ain't that something? The world, look about the empress. <sighs> You're about to rise and shine and give God all the glory here with stability and balance is what you're about to do. You want to make sure that you have your life in order. Okay? And this was what you need to focus on because it's going to happen. Whatever you manifested, it's going to happen. The word card is here. You're walking away from stress. You're walking away from baggages. You're walking away from anything that caused problems in your life and being healed and saved. 
all right? You putting things in order. You manifesting what you need. You're praying for what you want. You know, you're crying out with your voice and making a joyful noise unto the Lord with all your heart and your prayers are being answered here. And this person knows that. They know that. They know now that you're nothing to play with. You're not a toy. Okay? You're not to be juggled. You're not to be bounced around like a ball here. And they know that. What is this? What is this that I'm hearing and feeling here? We have the star card here. Okay? Now, this, this blessing is here. That's like I told you. Because your faith has been tested. Your faith has been tested. Your blessings is coming because angels have said this enough. There's no, no more for you. Look at that. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay. There's no more playing around. Okay. Playing around is a, a thing of the past. Now you're all about movement. Now you're all about receiving and, 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 and just getting ready to pull in positivity. And releasing negativity. You don't have, listen, that don't live here anymore. Okay, you being the main female here, or take that in the reverse, it could be the main male, but you're about to rise and shine and give God all the damn glory, okay? Is what I see you doing here. You're about reaching for stars and you're shining brighter than you have ever done in a very long time. You're not about to get distracted here, you're not about to be played. For a fool. Okay. That's what I see you doing. Alright. So now this is going to be your read. I'm going to attach another read that I did last night to this one. So stay tuned for that. Don't hesitate to thumbs up this video. So that way others will see it. And they know that their readings are here. And they will also be able to ask for a prayer request. Um, it is a Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday, so those prayer requests that comes in today will go out tomorrow, Saturday. Okay, I love you guys so so much. Pray for me as I'll be praying for you. And uh, with that said, always remember to seek person you always find. Later.